Thanks for joining me. Welcome back. Today I'm going to share with you guys some face masks that I've been reviewing uh, that I got from the body shop. So if you guys would like to hear my review and hear my thoughts, keep on watching. Okay, so how's everybody doing today? Um, I thought I'd go ahead and share with you guys the face masks that were sent to me from the body shop and kind of give you my experience with each one, what I thought, uh, what I, which one do I think is potential for what kind of skin uh, type or skin, you know, like, like what you're looking for. And maybe it'll kind of point you in the direction to which one of these you might want to try if you're interested. So when I got it in the mail, I thought it was so cool because it was in this tube. So it was like this big, long tube that I got. And uh, it does say at home facial mask experience, which is nice because, you know, of course, a lot of us don't have the money to go and into a spa and have that spa experience. You can actually just do it at home yourself. And whether it's one of these masks or a sheet mask or anything like that, I always tell people like, make sure you have a me time because I do think a me time is nice to have where if you can get it because I get if you have little kids that sometimes can be hard unless the kitties are in bed of course <laughs> but I do understand that part I've been there done that but anyway I figure you know you can go ahead and kick back relax maybe put one of your favorite songs on or some music on that you find would you know make you feel comfortable put on your face mask you know just kick back on a reclining chair on your bed wherever just on a chair in general and you know soak all that in and i always tell people that i'm like just make sure you have a me time because i think a me time even if you can get even if you can just get 20 minutes of a me time that's nice and also don't forget if you're doing a me time and you're doing masking you might want some coffee you know, or tea or whatever, you know, kind of give you that experience. Okay, so there's five face masks from the body shop. They're all like new face masks. They've probably been out for a while, a little while now, a couple months maybe. So e each of these masks range anywhere around $28, which is not too bad. I think they're three ounce, a majority of them are close to three ounce of product, which that's, you know, of course that's not bad. Okay, so there's the British Rose, which is supposed to be a fresh plumping mask. It hydrates, soothes, and tones. There is a Himalayan charcoal purifying glow mask, which detoxifies, refines pores, reveals glow. There's the Ethiopian honey mask, which is a deep nourishing mask. It replenishes, restores, and comforts your skin. Uh, there's the Amazonian, Amazonian Aquai. I don't know if you say Aquai, a-C-A-I. I'm guessing that. I don't know. I could be pronouncing that wrong. But um, a Kwai, an energizing radiance mask, invigorates, fights fatigue, boosts radiance. And then there is the Chinese ginseng and rice clarifying polishing mask, which is bright. It helps brighten and evens and revitalizes your skin. The products from the body shop now are, uh, you know, like organic. They're 100% like these ones here. It does say they're 100% vegetarian. There's vegetarian ingredients in here and three are even vegan um, uh, ingredients. And the majority of them are formulated specifically with skin needs in mind for instant and long-term benefits. They are formulated without parabens, paraffins, silicone, or mineral oils. And these recipes inspired by traditional beauty remedies from around to around to world to satisfy your unique skincare solutions. A lot of these ingredients they did get from around the world. So you'll hear me whenever I'm explaining them. There's also a video, if you go on thebodyshop.com and look up these masks, there is a video where they show different demonstrations where you can use um, two masks in one kind of a thing. So I, I will put a link to the body shop down below so you can just go ahead and click on it. 
I like to mask at least three times in a week. You can do masking every day if you wish. Some people do like that. I do it three times in a week and it varies between um, what my skin I feel like it needs at that moment. First one I'm going to pull out here, the uh, Amazonian Aquai Energizing Radiance Mask. This one has more of a reddish uh, pink like a magenta color tag on it. it looks almost reddish in color it does have a nice uh, scent to it to me it looks like raspberry jam I was telling somebody like it looks like raspberry jam energize me so it's to energize your skin give your skin a wake-up call uniting powerful aquai berry energizing granola and smoothing community trade organic uh, Babascu, boy, this one's a challenging one to read. Let me just say that. I don't know if it's Babascu oil from Brazil. This fresh, juicy mask recharges and invigorates your skin and fights back against signs of fatigue. So if there's days that you feel, uh, from what it's saying, like, you know, you've had a hard day, a long day, uh, your skin, you didn't get enough sleep, you know, you've been very stressed out and just you know that kind of thing this might be a mask that you might find that you might like for that I used it and in all honesty I, I mean it felt nice it felt really good uh, pretty much all these masks did make my skin feel smooth and soft but it's not one that I felt it did too much of anything it, it was just one of the one of the ones out of the five that I don't think I'd see myself purchasing. The next one here is the Ethiopian Honey Deep Nourishing Mask. So this one's more of a yellow. This one here does have a more natural, most of them do, you can smell, it's, it, they do smell of the natural organic scents. This one totally looks like honey. It's, um, it's a, a thick jelly. It's it, right there. You can see, like you can tell the honey's in there and it's a pretty thick jelly. Okay. So let me read this. This one says, nourish me, be kind to yourself, drizzled with pure community trade honey, restoring community trade Marilla, Marilla oil from uh, Nabaya and hydrating community trade organic olive oil from Italy. This indulgent melting honey mask nourishes and comforts skin. And then it has like a, a slash sweet. Probably if you've been watching me for a while, have seen it in my one of my legging and not so much. And it is a product that I'm really liking. As a matter of fact, it knocked me for a loop because I do like a lot of products that have honey in them. I have a honey oatmeal scrub. I have, as we all know, um, the... Manuka honey is like a big thing right now, a big trend. You're seeing a lot of products that have Manuka honey in it. Honey is a really good uh, product for your skin. And this would be more for, I feel, somebody that has uh, just normal to combo to dry skin. I don't feel somebody with oily skin might like this, but it's worth a try if you'd like to, because I'm not gonna totally say don't try it. And I put it on again and then removed it my skin felt soft but i did see like the glow like the glow like some kind of glow that this gave my skin and it also just made it it just made it look like new fresh skin this one here i totally could see myself purchasing and i probably will once this is done the next one we're going to go into is the G chinese ginseng rice clarifying polishing mask so it has like a white label on it there. This one looks more of a like a white clay. Definitely you can smell the natural, the natural organic ingredient here. But yeah, it looks like a white clay. Illuminate me. Light up the room. Balancing, revitalizing, ginseng, moisturizing rice extract from China and skin softening community trade sesame seed oil from Nicaragua. This creamy exfoliating mask softens, evens, and reveals skin's brightness, which I did look up because I did tell you guys I love a lot of products that have ginseng in it. My skin loves them. 
but get gin, get ginseng, yeah. <laughs> ah, ginseng does have properties in it that does help brighten the skin. That's what I found out, which makes sense because a lot of the products do have that claim, like this one, where it's going to brighten your skin. If you have age spots or anything, any kind of uh, redness to your skin or anything, and you want to brighten up your skin, the anything with ginseng is going to do the job for that. So this here definitely is another mask that I would really repurchase. I like it because this one is like a two in one kind of a uh, product for me. It like I left it on, which a majority of these masks you can leave on for 10 minutes. You can leave them on longer, whatever you want, but the majority of these are like 10 minutes long. With this one, uh, before I took it off, I did wet my fingertips a little bit and kind of massaged with the rice in here to kind of buff and polish as it's talking about, you know, on the skin and uh, get all nice and smooth and polished and everything. If you're concerned for the exfoliate, like with the rice, um, rice particles in here, I can tell you this if you're somebody with acne, it doesn't scratch. It's not a very harsh scratchy feel it's very mild so if that's something that you're a little concerned about and wanting to know it it's not really harsh or hard on the skin i didn't find it to be and i am somebody that suffered very severe um cystic acne okay the next one is the british rose fresh plumping mask which it has a nice pretty pink sticker come on focus there we go kind of focused but you know so this one here looks, and I did, oh, this one really smells nice. This one really does smell nice. If you are somebody that likes rose scent, it's not a strong, it's a soft, mild rose scent. So it's not real strong, but it's really, it's really nice. I love it. I'm going to tip it like this because like I always, I don't want to spill it or anything. It's more runny. It's not as thick as the honey. It's a little more runny. And you do see a little bit of the rose petals in here. They're, but yes, I really liked this one. This one's so refreshing because I love the smell of the roses. So that for me, that's a little, what do I want to call it? Therapeutic in some sense. That's therapeutic for me. I really love the scent. And it, it just, it does feel very very nice after you take it off you do feel very hydrated and firming plumping skin you know you just feel like your skin just got uh reborn again this one i would purchase definitely with 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 no doubt because i do love these kind of masks like this one hydrate me grow your glow infused with rose petals moisturizing rose essence from britain and toning rosehip oil from chile and soothing community trade organic aloe vera from Mexico. This refreshing gel mask restores skin's moisture and gives it that petal-like smoothness. This one here, somebody for more to normal combo to dry skin. I don't feel people with oily skin might benefit from this one as much, but again, I could be wrong. It's going to depend on your skin, how oily it is and everything. Because mind you, even if you have oily skin, okay, you don't want to over dry your oily skin. If you over dry your oily skin, you're going to make your acne worse. If you're suffering from any acne or you're worried about pimples or anything like that, you are going to make it worse because if you over dry, your, 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 your uh, natural oils are going to, produ going to produce faster and they're going to clog up and get in your pores. So don't over dry your, your oily skin. I know like some people get so afraid of oils or any of those things and I get that because I was one of those people. I'm not no professional or anything like that. I just know I've learned a lot from so many people, from professionals or anything like that. I have learned so much. So yeah, you don't want to over dry your skin. So it is important to keep, even though you have oily skin, you, you still want to keep it somewhat hydrated. And then lastly, which I just, I just, where do these words come from? I'm from out of my mouth. I have no idea. I have no idea. Okay. This one I just used today, this morning, I used this one and this is by far one of my favorites in this whole line. One of my favorites. 
This is the Himalayan, Himalayan Charcoal Purifying Glow Mask. It has like a teal colored sticker. There you go. Which has tea tree oil in it. I can tell you. So you are going to smell the tea tree oil. Tea tree oil can be very, it is a very strong oil. And like a lot of people use it on their scalp or in their hair, um, you know, to kind of reboost their hair, the hair follicles and everything up there. Tea tree oil is known for acne as well. Tea tree oil is well known for um, helping to cure and heal acne. You can really smell it. It does have that strong tea tree smell. Here's what it looks like. It looks like a mud mask. It does have um, green tea leaves in here. Also, this is what I used. When I put it on, it dries up after when I take it off and everything. I can tell after I take it off, my, my skin feels so clean, silky clean smooth that I feel like it just stripped everything out, which that's what this is supposed to do is detox the skin and just get rid of all that crap that maybe might be building up in my pores, you know, and hanging out and everything. It, it's that. It, it just like removes it, strips it, gone. This, I do feel anybody can use it. I really do. I feel like anybody, because like I said, tea trees in here, that's good for acne. Similar to the rice ginseng one, what I'll do afterwards is get my fingertips a little bit wet and massage through with the tea leaves. The, now you don't have to do that. You did something that you can do if you choose to. I don't find it real hardcore scratchy, but it's a little more than the rice and ginseng. Each one of these afterwards is I took a nice warm wet cloth and removed everything that splashed my face a little bit more with warm water than cool water to kind of uh, close up the pores and pat to dry. That's kind of what I was doing. That one says purify me. Uh, shake up your senses, combining powerful bamboo charcoal from the Himalayan foothills. Active exfoliating green tea leaves from Japan and potent community trade organic tea tree oil from Kenya. Uh, this invigorating mud mask gives your skin an exhilarating new lease of life. Uh, with the Himalayan charcoal purifying glow mask. I am going to tell you guys with that one, I feel it is a lot like the Glam Glow Mud Mask. A lot. I would say it's a lot like it because I did have a deluxe size sample of the Glam Glow Mud Mask and I thought it was extremely great experience, wonderful. My skin felt clean, felt soft. The same feeling I got with this one. The only difference I will tell you, or one of the difference that I've noticed, is the scent. That's my feel on all the masks. I hope you guys found that kind of helpful. Let me know if you guys tried any of these masks yourself or had thought about them. If you did like this video, please give me a thumbs up. That helped me out so much. I'd really appreciate that very much. And also, if you are not subscribed to my channel, you can go and click the subscribe button down below and you can join me each week. I'd love to have you. And as always, bees, please remember to be yourself, love yourself, and let the real beauty shine through. So until the next time, you take care. I will see you then. Love you guys. Bye.